All right, everybody, this is the Billy Shelf, which I really enjoy and love, and we're gonna go over all the titles. So let's take the figures out of the way, and let's get started. This is my uh, Figma or SH figure art. I, I, I don't remember right now at the top of my head for uh, Celti uh, from uh, Do -da, -da, da. Let's get her out of the way. All right, let's get started. We've got Attack on Titan Season 1, Attack on Titan Season 1, Part 2, Season 2, Complete Collection, A Certain Magical Index, A Certain Magical, A Certain Scientific Railgun, I should say, Season 1. Missing both uh, seasons two and the movie. Black Lagoon, Roberta's Blood Trail. We've got Boruto, Naruto the movie. The Boy and the Beast. Clanad. And After Story. And by the way, uh, sorry for the lighting. It's a little bit dim, so I had to turn on the flash. Uh, Code Geass, season one, one of my favorite animes. And season two, R2. And of course, Code Geass, Akito of the Exiled, Cowboy Bebop, the complete series, Death Parade, Digimon Adventure Try, the everything that's been released so far, movie two, three, four, and the recently released five, uh, titled Coexistence. Uh, Do -da, -da, da the complete series, or the first series, I should say. On Blu-ray, this is one of my favorite shows as well. Actually, who am I kidding? Everything in the collection is a favorite of sorts. Uh, Eden of the East, one of my top five anime of ever forever. Uh, Eudeka 7. And the not so great sequel, but don't tell anybody I said that. Astral Ocean, Eudeka 7 High Evolution, uh, movie one. This is sort of the reimagining movie trilogy. And my Evangelion. Uh, I don't have the original series. I wish I would have gotten it when it was readily available. But yeah, I do have Evangelion You Are Not Alone. This is the uh, rebirth of Evangelion Project. Of course, signed by Spike Spencer, the dub voice of Shinji. So yeah, Evangelion 1.11, You Are Not Alone. Evangelion 2.22, You Cannot Advance. Evangelion 3.33, you cannot redo. Over here we have Fullmetal Alchemist Brotherhood, the first set. Part two, part three, part four, part five, and the star of Milo's movie. The Girl Who Up Through Time, Ghost in a Show. Let's move this pop out of the way. The uh, Geisha. Uh, Ghost in the Shell Arise episodes or movies one and two and movies three and four and the new movie the melancholy of haruhi suzumiya seasons one and two and the disappearance of haruhi suzumiya the movie helsing ultimate the uh movies one through eight as well as nine and ten High School of the Dead, and the OVA. Here we have the second shelf. Goes all the way up to this part. You got some uh, regular DVDs, which I'll get to in a minute. Here Academia Pops. That, by the way, over there is a DC uh, mother box. And my uh, Lelouch figure. So let's start. Got Hyoka Part 1, Hyoka Part 2, Infinite Stratos. Lupin the third part four, the Italian adventure. Love me some Lupin. This is the uh, the woman called Fujiko Mine series and the pseudo sequel, I guess, uh, Jigen's Gravestone, or it's set in the same greedy continuity. Uh, we've got My Hero Academia season one, My Hero Academia season two, part one, My Hero Academia season two, part two. Mass Effect Paragon Lost. Yes, it's a production IG series uh, or a movie, I should say. So yeah, it is an anime based on the popular uh, video game. The save edition of Michigo and Hachin, 
Miss Hokusai, Prison School, Samurai Shampoo, continuing the Watanabe goodness, Space Dandy Season 1, and Season 2, Shimonetta, A Boring World Where the Concept of Dirty Jokes Doesn't Exist, Spice and Wolf, Steins Gate, and Steins Gate, the movie, Load Region of Deja Vu, Red Line, Amoru Hosuda's Wolf Children, and the deluxe edition of Your Name. Over here is my the start of my Gundam Blu-ray collection. I want to get every single uh, Gundam Blu-ray, but I am starting with the Universal Century stuff, and eventually I'll branch out to other series. I do have more Gundam on DVD, but I do want to upgrade those series, uh, those shows as well. Here we have Mobile Suit Gundam Movie Trilogy, Zeta Gundam, Zeta Gundam Part 2, Double Z Part 1, Double Z Part 2, 0080, War in the Pocket on DVD, Gundam F91, Char's Counterattack, 0083, 08th MS Team, Gundam Unicorn, Thunderbolt December Sky, and of course, the Origin Series. And uh, let's get these guys out of the way. These three, I completely uh, forgot to take them out of my collection. They are supposed to go with the regular movie Blu-rays, but yeah, you know what? They, they somewhat fit. It's Japanese-oriented. Got the Criterion Collection for Seven Samurai on Blu-ray, as well as Lady Snowblood and Lady Snowblood Love Song of Vengeance, as well as Shin Godzilla, one of my favorite movie monsters of all time. Love me some Godzilla. Let's take this mother box out of the way and show you guys these DVDs of Satoshi Kon, one of my all-time favorite directors. He's up there with the greatest uh, directors, in my opinion. I mean, he rest in peace, uh, rest in power. Just that guy was amazing and a tour de force, in my opinion. And every single one of his movies are freaking fantastic. His one TV show as well. And I want to honor that uh, this year. I want to start um, doing some videos, I guess, on the work of Satoshi Kon. So I will be reviewing them. If you haven't seen them, I really recommend them. They are masterful animated movies with deep, rich, complex, fun characters and just a dynamic uh, sense of, of being with his stories and characters that, I, I don't know, I, I haven't seen anything like that in quite a while, to be honest. Perfect Blue. Tokyo Godfathers. Millennium Actress, my personal favorite out of all of them. Uh, Paprika. And a bootleg version of Paranoia Agent because it is extremely out of print and extremely pricey online so yeah when genion went under unfortunately i couldn't pick up the series but a friend of mine uh, gifted me this uh, bootleg copy so yeah hey pirate things move on to this one over here let me get this uh aizawa from my hero academia as well let's get him out and uh yeah this is basically my studio ghibli collection um i'm, I'm uh like i don't mind the spines not matching but it sends my OCD into overdrive, the fact that you've got the Disney Blu-rays mixed with the G-Kids. Uh, you know, G-Kids has the license, so they re-released everything with their slips and all that stuff. I might upgrade in the future, but it's not a priority. I'm comfortable having these, but uh, yeah, they look pretty crazy on the uh, shelf. Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind. Castle in the Sky, Grave of the Fireflies, My Neighbor Totoro, Kiki's Delivery Service, Princess Mononoke, Only Yesterday, Porco Rosso, Ocean Waves, Pompoco, Whisper of the Heart, My Neighbors the Yamadas, let me pull back, sorry, Spirited Away, The Cat Returns, Howl's Moving Castle, Tales from Earthsea, Ponyo, uh, From Up on Poppy Hill, The Secret World of Arietti, the Wind Rises, The Tale of Princess Kaguya, and of course, uh, When Marnie Was There. Next up, some other random uh, DVDs that I have stacked up here. Waiting in the Summer, the complete collection. This is sort of the spiritual successor to the next series that I'm gonna mention. It is 
please teacher or or onegai teacher fun fact this was one of the first manga i have i ever read many many years ago and i thought it, the manga came first i didn't know i was pretty green and when i saw the anime i'm like cool they made an anime out of this manga it was the other way around but i do enjoy the manga more simply because that was my first exposure to this uh comedy series I forgot to mention this earlier, it is the Fullmet Alchemist Brotherhood OVA uh, collection. Digimon Digital Monsters Season 1. Love Digimon. Part of my childhood growing up, Saturday mornings. Fox Kids! So there you go. Now you know how old I am. Kids on the Slope, complete collection. Tell me some jazz. The only Inuyasha thing I enjoy, this is the third movie, which was pretty good. And one of my favorite shows. Last Exile. I wish this was on Blu-ray. I think it would look amazing. Over here we've got Read or Die, the movie, I guess. It's sort of an OVA. And the Viridian Collection, except this one, uh, of Detective Conan, or Case Closed. So that is it for the uh, Blu-rays. Let's go ahead and continue the adventure with my anime DVDs. Alright, let's move uh, the bebop crew out of the way as well as this saber and you know it's sort of double stack so i'll start with this and then we'll talk about the stuff behind uh, i forgot to mention as well that i do have on um, blu-ray darker than black and the sequel darker than black gemini of the meteor it got a uh, i do believe funimation lost the license which is a damn shame because it's a fun show man Mushishi, one of the best shows around, in my opinion. Same with the manga. Ghost in the Shell 2, Innocence. Ghost in the Shell Standalone Complex. Ghost in the Shell Standalone Complex, Second Gig. Ghost in the Shell Standalone Complex, Solid State Society. <laughs> Modibito, a beautiful, underrated show that a lot of people slept on. I love this series so much. And the uh, original novels as well. Speed Grapher, and Wolf's Train. I gotta get this on Blu-ray, by the way. Here we have the original Fullmetal Alchemist. I love the original series just as much as the manga and Brotherhood. So yeah, Volumes 1 all the way to Volume 13, which is my favorite because it is signed by the wonderful Vic Mignogna. Uh He was such a gentleman and such a fun dude to uh, meet. Here we have, of course, the Conqueror of Shambhala movie, as well as the OVAs for the original series. Next up from ADV, remember ADV? You got DN Angel, Volume 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and the final volume number 7. You got Big Wind Up, one of my favorite sports anime, Big Wind Up, uh, the complete series. This is the first part. And the second part. Next up, Gankotsu, The Count of Monte Cristo. Really visually striking, one of the best looking anime around. Le Chevalier de Homme, book one, volume two, or book two, book three. Oh, look at that, it's so dusty. Book four, book five, and the final book six, or volume six. The original Fate Stay Night release from Genion. And I don't think I have these in order. Uh, there we go, this is the first one. Samurai 7, the anime adaptation of Seven Samurai. Scryed, one of the most badass anime. If the X-Men were anime, this would be it. There's volume two. Oof, a Blu-ray transfer. That'd be pretty badass. We got Summer Wars, Turn Gundam, Part 1, and Turn A Gundam, I guess I should say, Part 2. Akira, that for some reason I don't have on Blu-ray, which is weird. <laughs> Only have the DVD. And Ergo Proxy, the complete series. Uh, Romeo and Juliet, this is an awesome adaptation. Part 1 and 2. And you saw the Blu-ray earlier. This is the uh, steelbook for the uh, Black Lagoon series. Let's move on to the other shelf. You can see this one is pretty stacked. There's a lot of Shonen Jump titles in here. Let's get to it. 
one of my favorite anime of all time, one of my favorite Shonen Jump titles of all time. I lived and breathed this series, and I will continue to love it forever. I have two hour-long discussion videos with my good friend Brian talking all about the first Naruto part, the first series, the original one. So if you want to check those out, it, we were pretty crude back then and kind of cringeworthy, but still fun, you know, getting to talk with one of my best friends about a series that we both equally loved so much. So yeah, I, I kind of want to link that at the end of the video in case you want to see it. I don't, I don't know. Here we have the one that started it all, Naruto the Uncut Box Head 1, Box 2, Number 3, Book 4. Volume 5 is where they started using characters on the, the covers, which, thank you, you know, it, it makes it more appealing. Number 6, and inside it is signed every, or almost every single one of these uh, books are uh, storyboards for episodes, original storyboards from Japan. I love owning this, this is so badass, I love watching this and comparing it to the actual episode. So what I wanted to show you guys is that this set is signed by the voice of Gata, the English voice for Gata, Liam O'Brien. This was awesome. Here we have volume seven, volume eight, nine, volume 10, and number 11, number 12, uh, volume 13. I skipped volume 14 for some reason and I just really haven't gotten around to getting it for so many years. Here's volume 15 and volume 16. You've got the original movies for the first part, uh, Ninja Clan in the Land of Snow, The Legend of the Stone of Galel. By the way, this is one of the debut uh, movies for Roger Craig Smith, fun fact. Guardians of the Crescent Moon Kingdom, this is the third movie. And then we got into Naruto Shippuden. I believe it was near Valentine's Day 2015 or something like that. Uh, Naruto Shippuden, set one, box set two, number three. This is where they really got artsy, uh, volume four. And then out of the blue, the sets, maybe they were a little bit too expensive, so they switched to regular DVDs. This is uh, number five with the slipcover. Number six number seven where they got rid of the slip covers number eight number nine number 10 11 volume 12 and 13 14 volume 15 volume 16 or 17 number 18 and number 19 number 20 21 22 23 24 25 and the slip covers are back said 26 27 28 29th, number 30, 31, 32, 33, or 34, and number 35. You know, we could have waited because I think there's like three more. So I guess eventually whenever I do a follow-up update video to this one, uh, we'll see the end of the uh, Naruto Shippuden. It's been a fun ride. I love collecting the Naruto sets. Um, it's going to be a pain in the butt whenever they say, you know what, uh, we're gonna do Blu-rays. I don't know if I wanna do, uh, I wanna commit to reacquiring it and double dipping, probably not. Oh, and uh, movies as well. Uh, I only have uh, The Will of Fire, which is the third movie, and I had to get the last out to the movie, which, you know, sort of segues into uh, Bodhido. My other Shonen Jump titles, Bleach Volume 1, Volume 2, Season 2. Fortunately, with Bleach, I don't have uh, most of the stuff, uh, most of the uh, DVDs and all that stuff, so I will be getting the Blu rays eventually for this. This is set 3, season 4, part 1. And then out of the blue, <laughs> I jumped with uh, season 5. And then check out this huge gap that I'm gonna do from this box set, which contains episodes. 92 to 109, I make the leap to box set, or I should say set 21 with episodes 292 to 303 and 
DVD set 22 with uh, 304 to 316. So yeah, that's a massive leap right there. It's because I found these sets for cheap. That's why. Bleach, uh, Memories of Nobody. This is the uh, first movie. And I think I found this for like five bucks. Uh, the Hellverse movie. So that's all the Bleach I own, uh, DVD-wise. Hopefully I will be getting the Blu-rays eventually. My sole One Piece item, set one. And then I remembered, oh yeah, One, pi one Piece is eternal. I don't, I don't want to collect it. I'm sorry. It's a fun show, don't get me wrong. And manga, but I'm not going to collect uh, an Eternal series. And um, here we have Yu Yu Hakusho. Bought this set. Uh, it's a little banged up. I bought this used for cheap. And I kind of do want to upgrade eventually to the uh, Blu-ray sets. But yeah. Yu Yu Hakusho, one of my all-time favorites as well. Oh, and this, in case you're wondering, I do have this as well. The original uh, U.S. release for Guren Lagann. I don't have the Blu-rays. I think they're either out of stock or super hard to get or pricey. I don't know. Something. You open it up and there is the six volumes right there. I love this set. I love this box set, I should say. So, I don't know. I don't mind keeping this and not getting Blu-rays. Let's go down below where it's a mess. Okay, for this one, we're just gonna skim through them and I'll show you what's behind because it's double, triple, quadruple stacked. Uh, some Western shows, sorry. Trigon's Batlands Rumble. I'm still waiting for a Blu-ray release one day. I haven't gotten the complete series because of that fact. I am missing this movie on Blu-ray now that I think about it. I don't have this. I should upgrade uh, uh, soon. Vampire Hunter D. Bloodlust, the same as well. Uh, the first Pokemon movie, the original DVD release from Warner Brothers. Crown of Crusade Volume 1. I was going to collect it, but that ending is way, way too depressing and too sad, so I decided not to get it. Uh, Noin, Noin, or however you say it. Gundam Seed with the box set, the original uh, 10 uh, volumes. See Destiny uh, set one with six volumes, and the other six right here with set two. You open it up like an accordion, and they're inside. It's pretty cool. Uh, endless one, uh, the final plus OVA thing that they did to fix the last Destiny episode. Endless Waltz, the movie. This is another one that I want to upgrade and get, of course, the actual Gundam Wing uh, Blu-rays. Gundam 00, the first season and the second season and the movie. I think I'm missing the OVA, but regardless, I do want to upgrade as well to uh, Blu-ray. Death Note, I want to get the Omega Edition. I'm missing that one, but I do have the original Black Case DVDs. Uh, what is this? Blood Plus, seasons one and two. I don't have the cases for season one, but they're in here. Don't worry about it. Go Danner, the complete set, the uh, thin packs. Uh, this is, what is this? This is the premium edition of the first season of uh, Rurouni Kenshin, Wandering Samurai. This is the uh, Tokyo stuff. Sengoku Basara, and the two Eden of the East movies. I forgot that those are Blu-rays as well. Got Code Geass. And I do have this signed, by the way. By Johnny Young Bosch, an amazing guy. Really lucky to meet him. Uh, I forgot to mention this Cowboy Bebop the movie and the original DVD set I have for Bebop, which is autographed and personalized by Mr. Steve Bloom, one of my idols. Uh, met him recently. Great, great guy. Uh, first volume of Mushishi, you got Beast Wars Transformers, uh, Mora Kenshin, the Samurai X movies. Sayuki movies, random volumes, by Never the Amadas, Birded Away, and Those Who Hunt Elves. Wow, that's really eclectic. Behind all of this, yeah, Dragon Ball GT, because I was a completionist, and I wanted to get everything Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball Kai, and I gotta get rid of those orange brick sets, because I want to get Kai, the Majin Buu stuff, as well. I don't have Super, though. The, I only have... Uh, the two movies, because I do not like the episodes, the redone episodes. Not a fan whatsoever. Uh, this is the Kyoto set from uh, uh, Roni Kenshin. Fun fact, I was going to get the premium box set. Uh, this premium box, which is really, really fancy and cool. I love this. This is one of my favorite items in my collection for season two. And I found an eBay seller, because this is long out of print, by the way. 
uh, I found an eBay seller that was going to uh, sell it to me for cheap. I'm like, all right, cool, season two. And I believe he had the pictures and stuff, but he ended up swindling me, and I got this instead. It's a custom box that he made or he got. I, I don't know. It's a custom box, but I ended up keeping it because it looked pretty cool. I thought it was uh, pretty uh, creative. Not what I wanted, but whatever. So yeah, this is the Kyoto stuff. Here we have the Witchblade uh, anime adaptation. The complete box set, I guess. And, oh man, one of the best shows around. It's such a damn shame that Viz chickened out. And I think it was due to poor sales, but they didn't continue. I wish they would reacquire the license for this and release it on a Blu-ray box set or something, like two box sets. Oof, man, this is quality stuff. This is Monster from Naoki Urusawa. I love the manga and I love the anime. Um, this was the only set they released. Explicit content. And, uh, let's see if I can open it. Uh, it has the first 15 episodes dubbed and all that stuff. It is signed by Mr. Liam O'Brien when I met him as well. So, yeah. This is sort of a novelty because we're never going to see a part two. So there you go, guys. The, uh, whew, that wiped me out, you know? Only nerds can get tired after talking so long and extensively about their collection. Jesus. Um, anyways, thank you so much. You guys are amazing. I've been wanting to do this for a whole year, but, you know, circumstances prevented me from doing so, but I'm so happy to be able to share this collection update with you guys. And in case you're wondering, good old, can you see him? I don't know if you can see him or not. Uh, let's see. Uh, there you go. Uh, there's Voltron, Boba Fett, Link, uh, Connor from Assassin's Creed. Ah, uh, there is... You zoom in right there, there's Godzilla! He's uh, keeping this shelf safe from bad guys. Uh, guys, thank you so much uh, for liking, commenting, subscribing, doing all that wonderful stuff that you guys do. Hopefully the 2019 update video is uh, different with a ton of more awesome uh, series, Blu-rays, DVDs, whatnot. Thank you so much. Let me know down below, like I said at the beginning of the video, if you want me to review a specific title or talk about an a in-depth discussion or something, let me uh, know. So thank you guys. I'll catch you on our next video. <laughs>